Hey Libra, it's your girl Tara Carpe. I'm here to do your reading for February. This is your love reading because y'all love love and <laughs> with my collective that's what you all want to hear. So I am here to provide for you. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, feel free to do that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in a personal reading, go to tarotcardbay.com and schedule your reading. All right. So I got Kenny Lattimore for you, Libra. Um, that's a song from the 90s, classic R&B song, a very popular wedding song for you. My cup of love overflows and anyone who knows us knows nothing is impossible for you. Um, I actually got that this is the energy that you feel for yourself right now. Like I do feel that Libra, you are ready for love. Like I think you're ready to manifest a committed relationship and even marriage in your life. But I get that you've had like this opening up of your heart, like, you know, heart chakra um, that has made you appreciate yourself in ways that maybe you haven't recently or maybe in ways you never have. And it makes you like love yourself, like you're falling in love with yourself, which makes you ready for commitment. Um, I also got in the pre shuffle that someone that broke your heart could be coming back. It could be an Aries, um, could be a Scorpio. This person's going to come back. I do feel that they're going to express emotions this time around. That makes me think this is a cycle, but I do feel that this time um, they're going to express emotions. So that song could be from them. But I got when I was listening to it and I was thinking about doing your reading that this is how you feel about you. Like everything that you do makes sense. Like everything's happened for a reason. All the heartbreaks, all the disappointments, all the times you love someone and they didn't love you back. Like all of those things have taken you to this place of self-love and in interchangeably is going to draw in like the love of your life. So let's go in. Let's go in. Libra, overall energy, February, one card, two of cups. I'm gonna just cut my camera off right now. You know I don't be making this thing up. I shuffle this thing to death. Two of cups, that is the exchanging of your cup. That's mutual love, that's two people, that's two souls. Um, we got the caduceus on top. So that is that healing energy that makes me think this could be someone from the past. One person in the emotion, one person on the ground. This could be a water sign, could be an earth sign, could be a Virgo, especially with that light tower in the back. Could be a same sex situation, but I don't get the gender is a factor also could be a Libra but yes yeah, someone's coming in to give you their cup I just get strongly that you love yourself more this person might be watching you this person might see that it might be like turned on by you being in your power and that love that you're projecting and they're coming in definitely coming in look at that yeah they've been taking a break they might not be communicating this person is coming in all right who's coming towards Libra Ace of Cups almost wanted to come out Libra. Who's coming towards Libra? Queen of Cups. <laughs> so this is, again, about love, self-love, unconditional love, controlling your emotions. Um, I think you're just filled with love. I got that you might have came through some hard times that somehow, again, has made you appreciate yourself more than you ever have before. You know, Six of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, you've been working You've been working on yourself, Libra, specifically like what you want a relationship to give you, what you have to bring to the table, what collaboration looks like to you. Like how can a relationship be successful for you, Libra, not for the masses, not for what society tells you a relationship would look like, but what you independently want and need from a partner. All right. Give me a little bit more about this Queen of Cups coming towards Libra. Clarify the Queen of Cups and the lovers <laughs> so you know i'm not making this up like i i'm shocked by this again very strong connection could even be twin flames we got the two of cups queen of cups and the lovers coming out um what temperance there's another card that's usually my twin flame card so we'll see if that comes out usually temperance or the tower but yeah someone who is in love with you this is making me emotional there's somebody who sees you and like is really in love with you. And I think when this person comes forward, it's going to shock you. I feel that maybe this is someone you've always wanted, or at least this is a love that you've always wanted. That a part of you felt like you never were going to have. 
and it's coming. Like, I'm really getting emotional. <laughs> Listen, I don't want my lashes to fall off. I can't be crying on camera. Hermit energy. Didn't I say the Virgo? Virgo energy here. Why is the hermit here? Nine of cups. All this good shit. I want to turn this camera off right now. <sighs> Somebody sees you as your wish fulfillment. I feel like you are really in a phase of going inside of yourself you're not being that social butterfly that you typically are libra but you're working on something in the back end it's almost like the hermit from the outside looking in ain't doing much is a person who keeps to themselves covering them up not really engaging with the world but they're learning so much during this time and i feel like you're coming out of that energy of learning is the hermit on a laptop bro yeah okay never noticed that before that's interesting. Um, yeah, like I feel that you've learned so much and it's almost time for you to like go towards that next lesson in this next lesson. Uh, it looks like it's love. Like it, it, it's love. Your next lesson is love. Okay. What is this person's intentions? Coming towards Libra, the person coming toward Libra. What is their intentions? Eight of Cups could be dealing with a Earth sign. Let's clarify that. Death card could be dealing with a Scorpio. Ace of Cups. Didn't I say the Ace of Cups wanted to come out for you? This person wants to put in work. They want to transform whatever had you all had going on in the past here. They want to transform it. Make it better. Bring it back to life. Make it more balanced. What happened in the past? I got the King of Swords. This person could have been really closed off in the past, by the way. What happened in the past between Libra and this person? The Tower. The Tower. Didn't I say the Tower was going to come out? A crashing of the foundation, something that fell apart, a breakup. I feel that something happened. Both of you were hurt. Both of you lost your dignity. Um, but this was divine. This was divine, though. Damn, somebody got, somebody's dead? I just noticed that. Somebody's really injured here. Anyway, um, I get that whatever happened in this situation, Libra, you have transformed. This heartache from the past has transformed you. It has like, the other person had fell on their head and it really shook them up. Like it gave them a wake up call, but it actually for you, like killed the person who was you and now you have evolved to this new elevated version of yourself libra what happened what's what's causing what caused this tower in the past what caused this tower we got page of wands energy page of cups nine of wands somebody was really guarded not giving emotion not communicating a lot they just weren't given enough they were very very guarded because of some shit that happened to them in the past in which they weren't open to you what happened to this person in the past three of swords you know that i ain't lying <laughs> like you know that girl is not lying I'm so excited. I'm so happy. <laughs> um, I love it when a good reading comes together. What caused this three of swords in this person's life? Four of swords. Seven of swords. And the devil could be dealing with a the Capricorn. They went back to some stuff from the past. They took. They went back to something they were supposed to be done with. Um, there was a lot of deception, toxicity, lust. It was more of a lust-based situation that they actually went back to that has caused that caused them heartbreak. This was a cycle. They did this several times with this person in the past. Could have been a Leo. Could have been a Capricorn for your person. Um, but it like shut down their emotions, closed them off. So then when they met you, it was unexpected, but they were not able to open up emotionally. Is this person ready now? Because they're coming in. Is this person ready? Got the high priestess, could be dealing with a Pisces. Is this person ready? Four of cups. And the judgment card. They ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Like SpongeBob, they are ready. I will say they had to have that 
intuition or that awakening to tell them they were actually missing out on something by not putting an effort with you. They've had that awakening. They do want to revitalize this thing. What's this person's next step? Hold on. I seen a card flip. What was that? Come on. Don't make me go the 25 cards to find it. Okay. Well, maybe we just need to shuffle. All right. Yeah. What's this person's next step towards Libra? Next steps towards Libra. Ten of Cups. I'm a Virgo who loves to be right, Libra, baby. Love is coming for you, okay? Like, I feel the sadness. I feel, like, the love that you have in your heart that you just want to pour over someone that you can call your own. And it is coming. Like, I promise you, it's coming. I'm telling you, I'm getting emotional, bro. Like, what? The Five of Cups. Clarify the Five of Cups. Why is it here? Page of Swords. This person has been watching you. Queen of Swords. And the Emperor. This person has been watching you. Um, you could have cut them off in the past, by the way. You might even told them that you knew that you were watch they were watching. Um, I feel like in the past, they didn't think they had enough to be with you. But now they're in their power and they want to come forward. All right, what about a card for the outcome? A card for the outcome between Libra and this person. Ooh, you got me emotional, bitch. <laughs> like, I don't like that. Two of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. This is you. Two of Wands. The choice will be yours if you want to move forward or not. When this person comes forward with Libra, it's going to give you anxiety. It's going to scare the crap out of you. It's going to be like, you always wanted this to happen. However, you never thought it was going to happen, but it's also happening. You know what I mean? It's going to happen. I don't know who else's reading was like this. I think Capricorn's reading was similar to this, so you might want to check out Capricorn's reading. Um, this looks really good. I'm very happy for you. I felt that love like welling up in my body bro and that's not my emotions because i ain't i ain't in this energy so i know this is you and i'm just very happy you're gonna get the opportunity to really love somebody and like pour your whole cup um give your whole cup to somebody and i think that's all you've ever really wanted right Ooh, okay <laughs> now let me see for libras who if you didn't get a message for this single libras I'm going to break this down by element for my single Libras. If you need another message, single Libras dealing with earth signs. Ooh, page of cups. Mm, I like that. The beginning of a new start. With this earth sign, you're going to have to take your time. Just, just let this person pursue you, Libra. Like It might take a while. I'm not saying that's the only person you should talk to, but just relax. Take a bath like homegirl. Let, you, let your boobs out or whatever, what have you. Take a cleansing bath, relax, be in your feminine energy. Let this person come towards you if you are dealing with the earth sign. They do wanna bring you love, it's going to be slow. Look at that, lovers. Your girl does not lie. All right, ooh, a lot of cards are coming out for you. A lot of love energy. I'm proud of you, Libra. You've done a lot of self work. I feel that. Like it's a difference between like wanting love and being ready for love. Like. You know, it takes a lot of ugliness to get through those times of like seeing yourself in a way that you never wanted to see yourself, fixing the stuff that you needed to fix, being real with yourself, being vulnerable, even getting therapy, you know, like it takes a lot to really want to improve yourself. And you deserve that. You deserve that love. You definitely do. All right. Libra is dealing with water signs. Libra is dealing with water signs. We got the Knight of Pentacles. Water sign is coming in. Slow as hell, though. And what else? Six of Swords. So I do see this water sign is coming in mostly to make amends here. They are coming in slow. They want to have some type of communication. I think they also want to make you feel better about something they did in the past. They want to make amends. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I don't see a relationship with that water sign, though. I don't see you wanting to work on that, Libra. Okay, Libra is dealing with air signs. Libra is dealing, dealing with other air signs. Four of Wands, clarify that. High Priestess, Four of Pentacles. <sighs> There's a lot of fear with this, this um, 
this air sign. This air sign knows intuitively that they can be with you. They could be successful. They could love you. They could have passion. They could have a family life. But fear is holding them back. Emperor in reverse could be dealing with a narcissistic energy also, like someone who's so fearful that they're controlling, which turned into narcissism. Okay, so we did earth, water, air. Now we're going to do fire. <laughs> Libra's dealing with fire signs. Will of Fortune. Okay, okay then. I like that. Libra's dealing with fire signs, especially Libra or Aries. Aries came out in your pre-shuffle. We got the King of Cups here. Uh, yeah, this water sign is in love with you. They're just holding it back. Why are they doing that though? Four of Swords. Ooh, there was two cards. Four of Swords. And the hangman, four of swords and the hangman. They're ready. They're being strategic about when it's time to move forward. They are in love with you. Something will change with you in this fire sign. If this is someone you know, or if you meet someone and they move slow, or you feel like they're not interested, they will fall in love with you. They just have to be strategic about how they move coming towards you. I don't know too many water, I'm sorry, fire signs that are that strategic. So this person could have water in their chart. Um, they could have Capricorn in their chart. They could have air in their chart. But I do get that this is a fire sign who's going to fall in love, come towards you, but they will take their time. You will not be able to rush this person. All right, Libra. Y'all try to make me cry and I don't appreciate that. You know, I got my makeup done for y'all. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I love this reading for you. You definitely deserve love. You've been working on yourself. Let me know in the comments how this works out for you. If you resonate, like the video if you like it. If you would like a personal reading, go ahead and go to tarotcardbay.com. I love you. Bye-bye.